high, high volume, preferably in a residential area. in the NFL, it, it's about versatility. What all can you do? Can you run down on kickoff? Can you cover a punt? Can you rush the passer? Can you play all three linebacker spots? Or in Keenan Reynolds' position, okay, we've seen him play quarterback, but maybe now his versatility. Can he give you some snaps at running back? Can he give you some snaps in the slot? That's what those NFL scouts are looking for. How, what can you do? What are all the things you could do to deserve one of those 53 roster spots? So, Ann, you talk about these all-star games where you get to impress scouts. We'll be going to the Senior Bowl, as we mentioned. But, uh, what a moment for this program, the academy, and these seniors. You know, it isn't every year you get to play a bowl game at home. Obviously, some schools, you, you want to travel. You want to go see a warm, you know, place and go somewhere else. But, you know, for them and the careers they've had, it's almost fitting that they get to end it here in this stadium. And it also bears mentioning, look, I mean, to win 11 games and also go through the unique schedule that these players here at Navy go through, it's just not like most colleges around the country where you go to a few classes and you lift weights in the summer and you're concentrating on football. These guys certainly have much more on their plate, so many duties, so many changes to the schedule you, you got a practice schedule and all of a sudden some senator comes into town you guys change things around and during the summer everyone else is working on their agility and things like that these guys are, are working on things to help our country later in life so it's very unique but also not just great people great men but also great football players getting 11 wins this year and they will win 11 wins for the first time in school history and the name on the marquee in the headliner was keenan reynolds yeah I like he's been spectacular I don't like i talked about it. it's him getting that getting this navy offense out of bad plays and into good plays he's been doing a good job throwing the football just when the writing on the wall was for coach mm -hmm. the was yeah. to leave he had a unique opportunity to coach his sons at byu he certainly met with byu but in the end he told us and he told everyone that in his heart the naval academy was the best place for he and his family he's been here for 18 years and, and Amy, how rare is that in college football it's usually always about the next job or the next gig or the, the bigger job but what coach Niamatololo told us this week he's been talking about it I, I felt comfortable here I, I like being here these these, these men these cadets they, they've helped us build me as a, as a human being and as a man so he, he certainly went with his heart went with his gut and decided to stay right here for that Monday night football <laughs> game Bengals Broncos what, 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 what does your gut tell you the stage is set right now for the Bengals they win the AFC North with the Steelers losing last night and it's just can they get that that win tonight with a backup quarterback and AJ McCarron will just make his second start uh, hey this, never going with a backup too we don't, don't make uh, making excuses not, for your Bengals already Rocky not at all but uh, it, it's gonna be a tall task but uh, you know the Bengals have had such a good year this season and uh, for, for the sake of Cincinnati fans, they have got to win a playoff game this year or the place will come unglued. From Eagles' point of view, but of course the Broncos have a lot on the line as well. They need to win out and have New England lose to get a home field, to clinch home field advantage. It's just amazing. The Broncos start off this season, they won their first seven games of the season, right? They won, I, I think they, at some point they were 10 and 2. With that kind of record, they have the potential to either be the, the number one seed or not make the playoffs. And with the way Kansas City has come on and rattled off nine straight victories, I mean, certainly not only just a critical game for the Bengals tonight, but for the Broncos to keep this season alive. So now after all that, Pitt takes a timeout. are definitely some sharp helmets uh, you know they, they broke out for the uh, army game they honor seven of the historic ships that make up the u.s naval fleet the jerseys also have the damn the torpedoes quote admiral farragut made famous 
Boy, they are beautiful looking helmets, no question about it. Never seen anything like that. Each position has a different ship. And now we're ready to resume activities. And Reynolds gets the first down out to the 40. Resume they built first year in the American Conference. They'll get 11 wins and certainly setting the bar high for this Naval Academy program. And for Pitt, certainly a successful first season for Coach Pat Narduzzi. Coming over from Michigan State. And not the way they wanted to go out with back-to-back -back losses. Field. What a moment for the Naval Academy and its seniors. The 11 win, setting a school record. And they did it with the triple option in their quarterback leading the way. They did, and I think it bears mentioning too. Look, everyone talks about how, how much many things that this Naval Academy team does. They're not just a bunch of Eagle Scouts out there, right? They're some good football players. They proved that getting their 11th win. All right, let's go down to Quint. Coach Niamatololo shaking hands. 44 points and an aggressive mindset. What was most critical for the offense? Uh, just what you said. I thought Coach Jasper did a great job of calling plays. Keenan executed, played really well. Just We played well. That's a good defense. They haven't given up a ton of points. Just proud of the way our kids played. How do you best describe the play of Keenan? He's been doing that for four years. Unfortunately, he's leaving. So, but a uh, tremendous kid, done a great, great things for our program, and uh, our country is going to be in good hands with him serving us. Well, that entire senior class, I think about three bowl wins, uh, an 11 win season. Oh! Woo! <laughs> how, how do you put in perspective uh, the impact of the senior class on Navy football? I love those guys. So I tell you, I love those guys. And uh, as Americans, like I said, we're in great shape. We got guys like that are going to go protect us. Just wonderful kids. Congratulations, Coach. And that right, and that right there is why he stayed at the Naval Academy to be the midshipman's head coach. Desmond Howard and Butch Davis here. Navy with an impressive victory. You saw a school record 11th win and another tremendous day and a great send-off for Keenan Reynolds. Yeah, Keenan Reynolds just, Reynolds just did what we've seen him do all season long. He ran the triple option to perfection. Early on, he threw the ball 12 times in the first half. They did that to keep his defense off balance. But it was all about Keenan Reynolds, the way he runs the options. He's like a magician back there with the ball in his hands. Broke another record. Most rushing yards in the career by a quarterback. Top Denard Robinson with 4,551 yards, Coach. It was just the Keenan Reynolds show today. Yeah, if you ever want to see a clinic being put on on the triple option, you saw it today. Everything about all four phases of it, the fullback dive play worked to spectacular. Yeah. His runs, keeping the ball, pitching the ball on the option, the play action pass, he made Pitt uh, pay for that. Every yeah. time they tried to crowd the line of scrimmage and get extra guys in the box, he burned them in the passing game. And when you're trying to play against a triple option team, one of the things is, is that you've got to get them off the field. Yeah. Yeah. And today, uh, they were 11 of 16 on third down conversions and two for two on fourth down conversions. So if they keep making those first downs, you can't get the ball from them. And they just kept putting points on the board. And Navy held the ball for more than 40 minutes today, too. Yep. As we go back to Annapolis now and look at some of the live pictures of the midshipmen celebrating their bowl victory. This, of course, comes after a hard-fought victory in the rivalry game against Army just uh, two weeks ago. Or I, think, I think sometimes we put too much emphasis on conference bragging rights and so forth, but the regular season for the American Conference was a smashing success. The early part of the bowl season, not so much as the American gets its first victory in the bowl season, and then Davy does so in convincing fashion against Pittsburgh. So there's at least that aspect to it now with the midshipmen uh, participating in conference play now. Uh, you know what, at 11 wins, I mean, that's a, that, that in and of itself is a great hallmark for any football team. If you thought at the beginning of the season you could win 11 games, you'd be extraordinarily proud. I mean, and Keenan Reynolds, what a great young man to represent not only that institution, but also uh, college football. I mean, he's had a spectacular career. You love watching him play, and just like Coach said, you love guys like that that are going to defend this nation. When you watch
him play today. You understand why so many people were surprised that he didn't get an invite to New York for the Heisman ceremony. Now, I understand because the vote he broke down didn't merit him coming to New York. But when you watch him play, he's such a spectacular young man. He represents everything that you think the Heisman should represent in the player. I mean, he's a great kid, integrity, stand-up guy, fantastic football player. And so it was just great to see him go out on a winning note today. Yeah, I think that's, that's a great point you make and, and a very important distinction, too. The Heisman actually took a lot of a lot of flack for not inviting Keenan Reynolds. It was a math thing. It was a number of exactly. votes he got. And certainly he does represent represent everything that's good about college football and and to see him finish with uh, the most career touchdowns with 88 touchdowns the rushing record you mentioned that he broke the win total that they put together never before done and uh, the history of the Naval Academy has been an impressive thing for sure absolutely and you just you love it for them you love you know one of the things that you guys did uh, the Army Navy game and what a great spectacular event that that is and for them to finish this season the way that they have it's a, a great compliment to the Naval Academy we're right in the middle of Capital One Bowl, man.